Hi, this is Bini from Online Forex Master. Now, um, I'd like to explain um, how to use the Alien Room, the trade idea and thoughts that I've posted up for the aliens, our members. Uh, let me just um, explain using the example of WTI. There are two portions that we have all right, in the um, trade thoughts that I wrote. Number one is that I'd like to give you the reason why. Um, because you don't just want to get the levels, but you also need to know why and uh, learn in future so you can apply that yourself. So in um, WTI trade on September 12th, I wrote this, that is a bearish week close and 46.50 resistance is still valid. Alright, so this will be the 46.50 region here that I'm marking. Alright, um, giving you the technical points, why uh, I think that um, OI, WTI is going to be still bearish and especially um, we have our very uh, powerful canvas that's called bearish pipe. Alright, in flow point of view, uh, we've seen a 1 to 3, 4 already and uh, I've marked in very important the interim support level and because we're going for a short, so the interim support level and the very strong support level here which is 43.80, right, mark in here, alright, and 42.60 mark here will be a very important support level that you could consider that for your um, uh, target profit which means that if you were to go short and these two levels can be considered for you to lock in money all right and keep the money in the pocket now um, I went through what's my thought so if you were to look at here I said that the 124 is not confirmed and we are waiting for price to go below 4480 which I also, I also mark here at 4480 all right I make the posting when it was somewhere around here Alright, so even um, until this point here, price is still not below 44.80. Alright, so um, now the second type of trades, right, that we recommend or rather we are looking at is what we call a risk level. Now let me explain why is, why is a risk level. Risk level means that now this is a make or break level. Alright, um, if price is, if you are looking to go short, and if price is below this level, then it is a very good level for the sell. Okay. However, at this level, if price is above it, it means that any bearishness they're gonna hold for this trade will be gone. So it's a make or break level. Okay. Now a risk level will be a possible place that you can consider if it's bearish to sell limit, if it's bullish buy limit so in this case oil because the bias is bearish so the risk level would be a place for you to consider sell limit okay now uh, it is a trade it is a level that hasn't has any confirmation yet therefore trading in this area this level is going to be high risk however if the trade is going to be successful then this is the place that's going to make you the maximum profit Okay. Now the risk level is not suitable for everyone. All right, you must be able to take the risk. It also means that um, you're gonna determine how much risk you're gonna put it in. For example, I'm a person who likes to take risk, so I will take risk level each time, but I'm gonna lose only a little bit. So for example, from the risk level that I've traded, I will want to lose each time 20 pips, and 20 pips will be the maximum amount I'm gonna lose. Or you're going to say, hey, look, I'm, I'm not a person that likes to take risk. I don't want to take a risk level and I totally skip the risk level. Right now, if you don't want to take a risk level, then you will go for a trigger level, a confirmation level, which I mark in here as 44.80. So, so it's, it's really for you to use all these levels to your trading because these are identified levels that are so important to the market that you're going to see them coming through every time. Okay. So as we move on, at this place here, you're going to see that price has not confirmed the 4480. It doesn't have any close below it and price bounce up, hit the risk level. Now this is the point, all right, which I said a risk level will be at 44, uh, 40, 46, 40 to 50. So you can consider to sell limit here, all right, and your stop loss will be slightly above it. Okay, as you move on, the risk level becomes a good level because price reacted to it, alright, and price moved down, 
Okay, to hit the 4480. And this is where you get a nice amount of profit, a nice buffer for you to kickstart on the next trade, which is a confirmation trade, which is to sell when it's below 4480. All right, you can choose to take profit here, and I did took profit here, or you can say you can choose to shift your stop loss or to shift your stop loss to a profit area so that even if price is to move up, you don't lose any money and becomes a free trade. All right, as price moved, all right, you're gonna find them just you're gonna find that um, the risk level is holding very well. And even if it's more flat, y you are just well ahead of it. And finally, a H4 close, confirmed close below the trigger level 44.80. Now, this is the point that you can hit the market or you can sell limit back into the 44.80 level, All right, which I did to sell limit back in the 44.80 and then after which the interim support level hit and that's where we took all the profit at 43.80. Now, if you don't want to take profit at 43.80, then you can shift your stop loss. Otherwise, to take half and to keep the remaining uh, target profit to 42.60. Okay. Now, since it's near to the weekend, I had a nice sell here at 46.30, which was my entry price. And a nice sell at 44.80. I decided to take all at 43. 60 and 43 80 and end up with a nice 370 uh ticks for this trade okay now this is how we can use the risk level or use the trigger level that's being written in the alien room available in online forex master thank you